Okay, welcome back to another SQLite Python video. This is our fourth one, at least doing this SQLite stuff in Python. In the last video, we talked about how to create an insert statement in Python and insert some data into a database table. And today we thought of a fun, well, not we, I thought of a fun little challenge where I asked the question, how do we get a string in a certain format, right? There's an assumption there, but how do we take that string and use it to dynamically create insert statements to insert cars into our car table. So I think this will be a fun little challenge. Um, and of course, if you are following along, which I hope you are, I think this is a good little like example, I guess, of like how powerful Python can be, just with something more simple like this. So let's go back to our Python, and I created this car string. So let's say, you know, somehow we ask for a user of a string of car details, and we're gonna use those car details to create all these different insert statements and add the data to the database with the string they provide. And there's some assumptions here, like it's going to be in the correct format, yada, yada. But let's say it magically is because the user is really smart. And so this is a car string that I came up with, and it's really just a string of all of the data that we need in a particular order. So as you can see, the first one, the first three values in the string, if we separate them by commas, are Ford, F-150, and four because this is the manufacturer, this is the model, and these are the number of doors, and then so on and so forth. BMW M3, four, Audi R8, two, Lamborghini Huracan, two. Hopefully I spelled all of this correct. And so the question is, how do we take that and massage it in a way that we can then iterate it and create our insert statements? And there's probably more than one way you can do this, but the way I came up with is to first, we need to take this string and make it a list. So let's call this car list. And this is going to be equal to car string dot split. And this method allows us to split a string by some kind of delimiter. In our case, it's just going to be the comma. And then just to show you what it looks like, let's print out car, not string, car list. Let's run this. And here we go. We now have everything separated by commas in a list. But now what I want to do is I want to take this list and I want to separate it by all the parts, right? I want all of the manufacturers in one list. I want all of the models in another list. And then I want all of the number of doors in another list. But I want them in the same order that you see them in this parent list, as we'll call it. So what I can do is I can create some new variables, manufacturers. And it's just going to be an empty list and then models, which will be another empty list and then doors, which will be another empty list. But these won't be empty lists for long because what we're going to do is we're going to slice this car list in a way to get what we want in the order that we need. And what I mean by that is like this. So car list is going to start at index zero and it's every third value that we care about to obtain the manufacturers. And so what will this look like in the slicing format is just two colons because the last value is our jump. In our case, it's every third value that we care about. And for models, it's very similar, but we're going to start at index one. We're just gonna stop when it stops and it's every third value as well. Whoops, and that is for the list, car list. And then similarly, we're going to start for doors at index two. We're gonna just stop when it stops and then jump every third value. So now if we print these out, print manufacturers, let's print models, and then let's print doors. We take a look at this. Here are all the manufacturers, here are all the models, and here are all of the doors in the same order that we saw them above. They're just split up now. All right, so how do we use this now to dynamically create these insert statements? Well, first we need to see how many times we need to iterate and create these insert statements. And really we can take any one of these lists and just use the length of it and iterate that many times. And so what I could do is just iterate for index and range of zero to the length of any one of these lists. So, so let's just do manufacturers since it's the first one. So in our case, it's going to loop through this for loop four times. And in this for loop, 
we want to create our insert statement, execute that insert statement and commit. So let's tab all of these lines. Let's uncomment them. And we're going to use a format string to dynamically create these insert statements. So for the first value of the insert, this is the manufacturer. So in curly braces, we can do manufacturers and then whatever index that we're currently on in the for loop. And same with the model. So models, whatever index we're on. And then lastly, the number of doors. So doors index. And before we go ahead and execute, I'm going to actually recomment these guys and just print out the SQL each time, just so we see what it looks like and make sure it's what we expect before we go ahead and execute that SQL and commit when it might be wrong. So let's just print it out because I'm not perfect and I didn't do this ahead of time. So who knows if this is actually going to work. So I just ran it and here are the four insert statements. Ford F-150 4 BMW M3, and everything looks pretty good from what I can tell. And we loop through the whole list and we have four insert statements. So let's go ahead and cancel this print statement, uncomment these two lines, and then also uncomment us closing the connection at the end. Let's clear this up down below and just run this again. Cool, so it's over. And we'll open up that table back in our DB browser, refresh, and now we see those four new records that we obtained from just the string that was comma delimited that we created insert statements for dynamically and they're now added. So I thought this would be a fun little exercise on how you could practically do something in Python with SQLite. So thanks so much for watching. I guess in the next video we'll talk about updates and I hope to see you in that video.